just looking at a couple of Sega Mega Drive controllers that have seen better days. Um, needs a clean up. Mm, there's a couple of scratches on it, it's not too bad to be fair. Um, so that should clean up quite nicely. Um, I did test it, um, the A button's not working. Um, I think, I know what's wrong with this. Um, just from taking this to pieces, don't know really you'll be able to see this. Um, if you look where the green wire is and the grey wire, um, see if I can zoom in a bit and show how well this is going to focus. And you see that little copper? Um, there's a bit of, you know, a strand of copper short across from one wire to another. So, um, yeah, I'm going to clean this all up, reassemble it, and test it again. So, something else I just thought I'd show you here. <clears throat> this is the first time I've seen this. I think this must be a, a, like an, a, one of the initial revisions of the Mega Drive controller. But you've got the D-pad directions there, and over the other side of the buttons. So, of course, when you come back to put this back together, if you've never seen one like this before, you're like, well, which way around does it go? I mean, it can only go one way, um, because of the mountains here. So, you, if you put those in place first, then obviously it's um, because apparent that the D-pad then goes this way up um, and it's inverted, you know, so if you push up it effectively goes down here and if you press left it goes right, etc. Um, via this little hub thing here, so it's interesting, but that's the first time I've ever seen that. So, there you go, after 10 minutes of work, um, good as new, um, looks fantastic and it works perfectly so uh, yeah I'm pretty sure it's just that wire and it needed to clean that was three pounds so did pretty well with that right this one um, yeah some damage I think up here probably to the cable um, it's really dirty this one I'm not sure how well this is going to come out when I finish with it um, yeah the D down direction is not working at all A, B and, uh, a and B are doing nothing I think C is working and starts working um, but yes yeah, so I've got a couple of buttons on the down um, don't work, but and there's something rattling in it, so I've got the feeling it's probably the plastic little bits that go on the end of the D-pad there, so you should be able to glue those back on. Um, they only really break off in transit, they don't tend to break off in use. Well, I can't see any immediate problems in here, apart from the fact it's pretty dirty. Um, yeah, these contacts definitely need cleaning up, they're uh, pretty filthy. And it's the same sort of thing with these uh, carbon pads, really, they look uh, well, some better days as well. I'm not going to split or anything, so um, I'm just going to clean this, reassemble it, and just retry it and see what happens. And there she is, um, totally working. It's come up really clean. It's just a little scratch there that won't come off, but uh, yeah, for the most part, that's come out really well. I didn't think it would come out that clean. Um, and obviously, it's fully functional. I didn't need to do anything other than set it apart, clean it, um, and reassemble it. Um, but all the usual things, you know, if you want to look back, if you want to know a little bit more about how I did these, um, there are, I think I did some six button controllers and I also think I did um, another um, three button controller sort of earlier back, check some main videos out. But I did all the same things to this, you know, ice pop on the board, um, wash all the plastic parts uh, in the sink, um, get WD-40 uh, in the connector there. Um, I always do that just to make sure you don't get corrosion starting inside the connector um, and then, you know, treat it with uh, plastics. Um, that brings out all the most the light scratches. Um, and dirt that won't normally come off from the uh, soap and water um, and then I finish it off with uh, some back to black which is a silicon wax um, same thing with the screws you know the, um, uh, I do treat the screws as well um, the bit of BD40 because they were rusty the tops of the heads were red uh, whereas now they're black um, incidentally there's a couple of screws missing on this two, those two middle screws so if someone's been in this before um, I find it interesting that someone could have been in here and not been able to fix this one really, there was nothing really wrong with it, other than it clean. But uh, anyway, hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.